Hi everyone. I'm a Elon Musk. Hi everyone. This is <laughs> that wasn't even that funny. Hey everyone. This is Train Boy, and welcome back to another video. Why am I still laughing? That wasn't. That was terrible. Um, today I thought I'd do another tier list video. I haven't done one in a year. Um, and I thought I'd do one now because. I, I don't know. Because I'm unoriginal. So I'm recording this video on the St. Patrick's Day weekend. Hope you all had a great St. Patrick's Day. I know I did. I saw some really cool trains. Uh, totally didn't back my car into a concrete block. Um, <laughs> that was... Oh my gosh. Um, one of the vlogs coming up, it'll definitely be in there. And as for any alcoholic beverages, I cannot confirm or deny that I had one on St. Patrick's Day or that I'm having one while I'm recording this video. So if you somehow don't know what Via Rail is, it's Canada's national passenger railway. It runs from Halifax on the Atlantic coast to Vancouver and Prince Rupert on the Pacific coast and everywhere in between, including places like Toronto, uh, Windsor, Churchill, Manitoba up north, Edmonton in the Midwest, and a bunch of other places like small towns and a lot of rural towns in like northwestern or northern Ontario. I think they're most famous for their Canadian, which runs from Toronto to Vancouver uh, twice a week, I believe. It's sort of a luxury train, but I mean, at the prices that the tickets are, you'd think it's a luxury train. And to pull trains all over Canada, they've had a plethora of locomotives over the years. So yesterday on St. Patrick's Day, I was browsing YouTube for Amtrak videos, uh, for a commentary video that I'm working on, or planning, sort of. I, I don't know. And then I came across this video. Hey! Definitely go check out Amtrak guys, Amtrak tier list. I think it's a solid tier list. And also, go check out his merch shop. Go buy a couple, uh, locomotive stickers or posters or t-shirts or whatever i'll put a link to it in the description or the video at least and you could find it through his channel whatever anyways and then i thought to myself we have a lot of youtubers who cover north american uh, passenger railways like mostly ones in the states like you know amtrak of course metra uh and there isn't really any for canada like on via rail or go transit or whatever else we have i mean we did have one i don't know what happened to via rail fan 6448 who uh made engines of via back in like 2017 2018 i he just kind of disappeared like four years ago now so i thought you know what why don't i steal another idea like i did with engines of amtrak and do a tier list on v rails diesel locomotives and not just their paint schemes so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so we are back with this segment of the video. I am shooting this almost a week after shooting the opening part of the video because uh, I just kind of lost motivation and interest in editing this video. Really didn't want to finish it, kind of wanted to just like scrap it and move on. But uh, I thought I'd just power through it and try and get this video out and uh, yeah, so in the short time span that I've been procrastinating on this video or contemplating if I want to finish it or not, I got sick and the tier list uh, website uh, decided to rearrange the photos so they're not in order anymore. So I'm just going to go from left to right. Alrighty, so starting off on the far left, we have the UAC Turbo Train. Honestly, I like the design of this uh, train set. It's pretty cool. Uh, I guess the only gripe I have with this design is the quad headlights up front. They don't look too nice. Um, and they look a little better in CN's paint scheme rather than Via's. And it's kind of sad that none of them were preserved because it would really make an interesting museum piece. Or an operational, like, heritage kind of thing if one of them was still around. I guess I'm going to put this in in let's go with uh b 
be. It's not the nicest looking, but it's definitely not the ugliest by any means. Next up we got the EMD SW1001. These weren't too important in the overall history of VIA. They only had them for like a couple years maybe before selling them back off because they are like secondhand thingies. I think these guys are pretty cool. Um, I'm more of a fan of the older General Motors switchers like the SW8. Um, I think they're a little better looking than these uh, later SW units like the SW1000, 1001, and uh, SW1500s, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in C. Next, I don't even have to explain this one. S tier. That's what I'm talking about! This is the GMD FP7 slash FP9. I lumped them together because they're pretty much the same thing. The General Motors E and F units are just some of the most beautiful looking diesel locomotives of all time. Pretty much every angle you look at one of these E and F units is just, it looks good. It just looks good. And that's why I put this guy in S tier. Next up we got the MLW RS10. Now personally I like the designs of the MLW road switchers and their high hood variants like the RS10 here, the RS18, RSD17 I believe. Uh, they're pretty nice looking, so I'm going to have to go and put this in B. Next up, we have the Bud RDC. This is a beautiful looking rail diesel car. I love the designs of the Bud cars. They're really nice. The stainless steel design on the outside is nice. The cabs on both ends are pretty nice looking uh, in some cases. And I'm glad to see that they're still in service uh, 70 years later on VIA. I'm going to go ahead and put this in A. Next, oh for goodness sake. Ah! So this is the GE P42DC. This is part of their Genesis series of engines. You got the P40, P42, and the P32ACDM. Honestly, I really don't care for the designs of these locomotives. I don't really care for the cab design, the body design. Uh, apparently they're like maintenance nightmares because you have to take the whole body off to do like major repairs to like the engine or whatever. They're just pretty impractical and they just don't look that nice. I guess the only things I would say that I kind of like about the P42s or the Genesis engines are their distinct GE chugging sounds. You know, the GE Prime Movers make this nice chugging sound which reminds me of the old uh, MLW or Alco products. Which sounds really nice and in some cases I like the horns on P42s like you got these hybrid K5 LA's that some of them had or have I think the Amtrak ones might still have them but uh, the VIA ones they got replaced by these ugly emergency horns I think uh, they're K5 CA somethings I can't remember the model names but they just don't sound nice on top of a already not that nice looking locomotive so that's why i put it in d next up we got the gmd f40 ph-2 i am so sick of the f40 ph d next i'm just kidding the f40 ph is an iconic locomotive it's a fan favorite like all across north america like fans of amtrak via a bunch of commuter railways like metra coaster mbta whatever are i'm sure big fans of the f40 ph I like the design, it's just iconic. Um, however, I prefer the original F40PH 2s that VIA had up until about like 2006 to the uh, 2006 to like 2011 rebuilds. I don't really care for that uh, little hump at the back of the F40s or the rebuilt VIA F40s, so I'm gonna have to put this in uh, A. Now, unrebuilt VIA F40 PHs would go in S, definitely. And I don't have a picture of one here, so... <laughs> yeah, boom, there you go. Next up, we have the IC3 Flexliner. I believe this is a Danish company that built these guys. Uh, VIA tested them in the fall of 1996, I believe. Uh, their paint schemes are interesting. That's pretty much the nicest thing I have to say about them. But uh, overall, the designs are really European looking and they're not that great. And the big rubber thing at both ends of the train set, uh, it's really weird looking. Um, 
if, if I were to rank this on like paint schemes like I did last time, the paint scheme would probably go in maybe a C. Uh, but design wise, this is definitely going in D. Next up, we got the EMD E8A. Again, I love the classic General Motors uh, F units. I'm gonna have to put this in S as well. Honestly, I can't really decide if I like the E units more than the F units or vice versa, so I'm just gonna put them both in S. Next up, we got the Bombardier LRC. These are pretty interesting locomotives. I think the design is neat. Uh, from some angles, it looks pretty good, but from the front, it looks. Eh, it's. It could look nicer. I'm gonna have to go and put this in. Let's go with B. Again, sort of like the turbo train, it's not the nicest, but it's not the ugliest. Next up, D. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is the Siemens Charger SC42 something like, I don't know. So, I forgot the model name. There's a bunch of different model names for the Siemens Charger engines. Like Amtrak has the SC44, uh, the ALC42, and then there's uh, the Brightline. I think they're called the SCB40s or something like that. Honestly, I don't really like the Chargers in general. The Via ones look a lot nicer than the Amtrak ones, and uh, I'd say they're on par with the uh, Brightline ones, the super streamlined Brightline ones. But I'm gonna go and put this in C, actually. For a Charger engine, it's not too, too ugly. It's not like the original SC44. Um, I'd say the Brightline one looks a little nicer. And last but not least, we have the MLW FPA2 slash FPA4. These are some really nice looking diesel locomotives. I like the designs of them. They're kind of like the E and F units, just a little more boxy than those two. I'm going to have to go and put this in... Let's go with... A. Alrighty everyone, so this is my personal ranking for Via Rail's diesel locomotives that they've rostered... Wait a What the heck is that? What? This is like a Via Rail locomotive off Wish, man. What the heck is this? So this is BC Rail SD40-2757 that got painted for a movie into Via Rail's paint scheme at the time. I don't know when the movie came out or anything like that. I think it was like the early 90s or something like that. I like the paint scheme and I love the SD40-2, so you know where this is going. Right up there in S tier. First place, S tier. This is a goaded locomotive. The SD40, oh my lordy lord. Alrighty everyone, so this is, as I said, my personal ranking for Via Rail's locomotives that they've rostered over the years. I'll put a link to this tier list in the description if you want to rank it yourself. Uh, let's say you want to put the F40 in S tier and the E units in like B tier or the turbo train in D or the P42s up in S or whatever, which would be a cardinal sin and I would have you arrested. Don't forget to uh, like or dislike twice. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment because I know everybody's going to freak out about the F40 and the Genesis engines. And don't forget to uh, subscribe for upcoming train commentary videos and whatnot. This is the Winnipeg Rail Fan saying keep your pants dry and your dreams wet. Thank you.